Guys, I've never done, um, and I don't even know how this works because I want to be able to see everybody's comments and I hope I can. Um, so I'm getting ready to make myself feel better. I'm also going to film a tutorial, you guys, and show you. I, I've been watching a lot of like Julia Roberts movies lately and I just realized what an icon she is. And I feel like I want to be able to like show you guys how to do that like 90s curl that looks natural but with like a little bit of like a gel or a mousse in it is there a filter situation because i'm feeling i need a little a zhuzh a little something um guys how's everybody doing out there that's not the filter oh this is kind of cute i'm not mad at this guys i'm doing just like um kind of my regular makeup i think this is cute um i'm really getting into doing tutorials and one thing that everyone's been telling me is that oh i love hot pockets uh, everybody's been telling me that they're freaking out about their hair. Like everybody's boyfriend or brother or father is asking for a haircut. And I'm like, guys, this is going to be like Black Hawk down soon. I am in quarantine. I'm at my house in LA. My husband and I have not been around anybody. Um, we had my birthday party. That was the last big hurrah. And that was uh, 10 days ago. So we have been in quarantine for 10 days. Um, so I'm going to do a video. I'm going to cut. Mike's hair desperately needs a haircut. I gotta tell you guys, it's gonna be interesting because he hates when I cut his hair because I do what I wanna do and I don't do what he wants to do. Cause I, I mean, hello, I got the scissors. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Sparks will fly. And then I'm also, like I said, I'm gonna do that curly tutorial. And then I kind of wanna get on and just talk about stuff. He goes to his own barber. He like really desperately hates it when I cut his hair. Um, I wanna know how everyone's doing out there. Where is everybody? How are you guys doing? What day of quarantine are you guys on? It's so bizarre. Like I actually met um, my assistant, Erin L, outside of my house and like she dropped something off and it's so crazy. Dad, how did you figure out this? Hi, Wendy. And why are you eating Honolulu? You guys, my parents, is anybody else's parents driving you crazy? Like my parents, I don't think are taking, well, dad, I won't say you, but my mom is not taking the quarantine as serious as she should. Like it's really, really stressing me out. Um, dad, say hi to Wendy. This is NARS um, Brow Perfector in medium brown. Cool. I have to have my brows filled or else my day is not gonna go great. You're in Belgium, oh my God. Hi, Switzerland. Guys, how crazy is this? Hi, Eski. It's so crazy that like all of us as a whole, like our whole plan is on like hold right now. Um, I'm trying about, obviously we can't ignore what's going on, but I will say you guys, I think it's really good for the planet. Like in a weird way, I think that like this little break is going to like just give the planet a well-deserved that it needs because I just think that there's so many of us that are doing things like I I personally have realized already on day 10 I don't need to get on a plane to go and do most of the work stuff like if I have to do obviously like an appearance or something sure but like I meetings and stuff let's zoom zoom conference is where it's at sponsor me zoom please my friends and I actually did house party you guys I'm obsessed because you can sorry this is Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation in number seven neutral, and I mixed it with some Kevin O'Quan concealer. Um, what I love is that you can go on house party and with like up to I think nine or 10 friends in little cubes, you can play heads up. Like who's the genius that came up with that? So that's my favorite game. I'm gonna do a video about all the other games that Mike and I have been playing. I think we're like ready to go into phase two of quarantine where like we're not Mario Badishku. Hi, Mark. Um, I think we're ready to go into phase two of quarantine where like we're playing games and we're not just sitting around stressing out. Speaking of stressing out, I'm gonna tell you the biggest test of all time on your relationship is a quarantine with slow Wi-Fi. It has been really bad. Like, here's the thing. It's like my husband, when he married me, promised my dad who's watching right now, dad, he promised you he would take care of me. Our Wi-Fi has been so slow that like you realize how much you utilize, and I know there's bigger problems, trust me, 
But you know, this is my small problem. Let me just make it big for a minute. Um, you realize how much you like rely on Wi-Fi for everything, for streaming music, for streaming movies. Like it's felt a little like little, um, little house on the prairie around our house. I want to also, first of all, if anybody from our team is watching this later, I have been so impressed with how the team at Way, like honestly, you guys, I'm so grateful that we are able to all work from home and that the team is still, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, we're still making products. We're still planning things for, you know, months from now. Um, I'm going to just do like a brown situation, I think, today. Kind of 90s vibe. KKW matte palette. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling like so grateful that we're able to work. Um, but also, you know, it's hard for everybody. If you're at home working and you have kids, you know, it's like you got two jobs at the same time. Oh, thank you, Kitty. It's so sweet. Um, yeah, what are you guys doing every day? Because I have been trying really hard to just keep a routine. Mike and I are both kind of like, Wendy, you're like this too, but we are, you know, creatures of habit and we really like to just stay busy. And I think what's really hard right now, you guys, is like everybody wants to have like a purpose, you know? We all just want to be loved. We're all humans. We all want to have a purpose. And so it's really hard when you identify with your work and you identify with your job. I mean, look at me, I'm sitting here doing hair and makeup tutorials, but it's kind of a good time, I think, for people to realize that like, you know, um, you're more than just like what you do every day at work. Like, it's nice to like, start to think about like, what did I like when I was younger? Like what hobbies were was I into? Like somebody once, or I read it in a book, somebody said something about how like the hobbies that you loved at 10 years old are probably the hobbies you still love. And I'm like, oh my God, it's totally true. Like I loved movies and fashion and the idea of like getting made over. I loved going outside. I loved dancing. I loved singing. So it might feel weird at first, but like the other night, Mike and I were outside, just he was drinking some wine. We were listening to DJ D Nice is his name. The guy that like broke the internet the other night and we just like started dancing and we're like, we would never do this normally, but we both just felt like we needed to just get some like movement going. Mike's towel dropped and ruined kind of the vibe for a little while. Um, <laughs> it was an accident, but of course I had to shame him and post it on my Instagram. Um, oh my God, Eski, I love that. Painting and drawing is so good for you. Oh, I have the best list for you guys actually. I printed this out and I think it's so helpful. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. This is how funny I am. I'm like, I know I shouldn't be printing you guys. I just printed these things to have, but this was two things that I saw on somebody's Instagram. And I thought, what a really cool thing to just have like on my wall in my office to just remind me if I'm feeling like I'm bored. One of it is to have a dance party, which we did. The others are watch one of your favorite movies. I made a movie list, you guys. I'm not drinking, no. I was tempted the other night, actually. When we were having our dance party, I was like, God, it kind of feels fun. The idea of like just getting drunk at my house and doing it. And I am so glad you guys, I didn't give in. I'm not like, so I'm not in a program or anything. Um, I just quit drinking because it was taking a lot of energy and it just, you don't age well if you drink. So it's kind of vanity. Um, so anyways, I, did not drink, so I'm really happy about that. Going back to the list, um, going outside. I know in LA, a lot of like the hikes are closed right now, which is stressing us out. Um, I'm gonna use this KKW palette, the dark one to do kind of like a liner. Um, I do like working from home. You know, quarantine hasn't, I mean, it has changed my life, but it hasn't changed my life too much. The only thing is now I don't, I'm not running so much from like the office to meetings to conference to uh, conference calls um because a lot of the stuff that i was doing previously is kind of on hold so like i have time to do tutorials which is kind of work is here at home um really quick guys going back to drinking my assistant nicole who i love she said the most amazing thing one day and she was like you know when i first stopped drinking 
she was like, if you think about it, drinking is just stealing tomorrow's happiness. And I was like, oh my God, that's so genius. You're stealing tomorrow's happiness. Not borrowing, you're stealing tomorrow's happiness. I lost one of my brushes, hold on. Um, okay, going back to the list. Hold up. Oh my God, where's my, oh, I think I'm, oh guys, life is hard, life is hard. Can I do a tutorial? Let us see what you guys are saying. Going through your stuff and donating is so smart. Sleek back hair like Bella's. You guys, I'm actually, I did that the other night and I'm gonna make it into an Instagram and IGTV. Um, okay, well, going back to our list. So going outside, downloading some digital books. Again, you need good Wi-Fi for that, Mike Rosenthal. Um, creating something for someone. That's kind of a fun idea because when's the last time you guys like sat down and like wrote a letter or even like drew something for somebody as a gift? Like I think about that all the time. We get kind of lazy with our gift giving and end up like giving our friends just stuff that we buy and send to them on Amazon. But how nice would it be to get something from somebody that was actually like super heartfelt? Um, all right guys, going back to the list. Writing handwritten letter we just talked about. I actually found my grandmother's, she did um, an autobiography and this is Tom Ford. It's a bronzer and it's Intensity One SS18. Um, it's so crazy to think about that generation because they literally had just pen and paper, you know? And I think she like got a word processor, a typewriter like in the eighties, but she wrote all of her stories down. And I was like thinking yesterday, I'm like, what excuse do I have right now? Like I should actually be taking some of this time and like, journaling and writing down stories or even like recording myself as I'm going through photos and telling those stories like what was going on in those photos for like I don't know my grandkids to see one day because I gotta tell you all of us in the family appreciate it and dad if you're still watching did I lose my dad is he on there if you're still watching I'm looking right at you because I would love to have all of your stories one day to share with my kids even though he is telling me he can't remember everything. Um, give journaling a try. We just talked about that. I'm doing just kind of like my everyday kind of brown-ish look. Um, doing something relaxing. So I actually, during our meditation this morning, if you guys can join over at the Hoffman Process on Instagram, every morning at 9 a.m. they're doing a, it's free, you can donate if you'd like, but they're d doing a group meditation and during it, I was thinking about like how I don't, it's just not in me to relax and it's something that I've been kind of working on. I'm just using my finger now. Taking a little bit of the blush and just putting above. I learned this from Patrick Ta, which has been really helpful for me. Kind of like blends the blush into the eyeshadow that you just did. I'm all about using my fingers. I'm not supposed to touch my face. I'm not supposed to touch my face. Shit. Um, I did just wash my hands though. But I feel like I love that. Your new professor said physically writing Chanel concealer in number 30. But yeah, I feel like I need to really like work on being more like relaxed and just like letting myself chill. For some reason, Mike and I have been kind of like running around like crazy. Um, I think because I did some Instagram lives yesterday and just I haven't had time to sit and read. But reading is everything, you guys. If you don't do it, please just get a book on Amazon and get it delivered or read on your Kindle or whatever you wanna do. But reading is like so calming. Um, get some chores done, obviously. I know that there's like my own personal list of things that I procrastinate on that I have gotten to actually look at and do a lot of those things. I think I just used the wrong, no, I didn't. Um, this is YSL, it's their Compact Radiance. And it is my favorite powder ever. I need to venture in to my makeup cupboards and like try new makeup. Guys, I gotta tell you though, so much like respect for Desi and Katie and Shayla and all the girls who are doing their makeup all the time. I broke out like crazy once I ventured out of my lane. Like, look at this guy. It's like, won't go away. That guy and there's another one somewhere in there, there. Oh my God, is it blurry? I'm sorry, you guys. We are getting our Wi-Fi looked at as soon as they can send somebody out. It's really been like the biggest pain in the butt for me. 
Um, what else was I gonna tell you guys? I, yeah, I think it's a good time for us to all just reflect on like kind of who we are outside of work. And you know, maybe it's time for us to like get more hobbies or declutter the house or maybe try meditation for the first time ever. Meditation's really like changed my world. I'm obsessed with it, just being able to breathe and, and get a little centered. This is Huda Beauty interview. I love this so much. Like I wear this color all the time. I'm almost out. I mean, I need to figure it out. I gotta buy some more. This bag was made for me from, I think it was the Daily Edit. Somebody sent it to me a long time ago. It says, paper thinks recycled leather. Um, but I would love to come back on here and I can like show you guys. I have to start filming this for you. I'm doing a YouTube right now from on my hair and I wanna make sure my hair doesn't get too dry. This is Shantakai mascara in black. Um, Rue is so good. Oh, I was gonna tell you guys, as you reminded me, Rue got stung by a bee. We actually went to go on a hike, like one of the first few days of our quarantine and everyone said it was okay to hike. And she, all of a sudden, like we were walking and she yelped and like jumped up and all, and then started throwing up. And it was so scary. Mike and I both were like, oh my God, what just happened? So we grabbed her, ran down the hill for about 15 minutes as fast as we could. And she was like, her jaw was clenched and she, her gums were white. Cause I remember as a kid, our dog used to have seizures. So if your gums are, if their gums are white, I know that it's not great. Um, so we basically rushed to the emergency room. They were like, okay, the new protocol is you guys can't come in. You have to wait outside. We're going to come to the car, grab Rue. You sign a paper that says like, if they need to do CPR, then they do CPR. This is Lip Cheat, um, Super Size Me by Charlotte Tilbury. So cut to an hour later, we're so stressed in the parking lot. They called us, not an hour, grabbed her, took her in, and they called us and they were like, she got stung by a bee of the actual stinger on a piece of paper for you. So she's fine now. She took some Benadryl and she's okay. But, oh, guys, like literally, that is our baby. We were so freaked out. My heart goes out to anybody out there who is sick right now, too. I feel like it's just the worst time to be sick. Um, even if you don't have corona. I mean, I have a couple of friends who just have like regular cold and flu. And it's like nobody wants to be around them. It's like so bad. Um... I forgot to tell you guys about my blush. Sorry, this was Elf and Always Rosy. I just like how it's kind of like a brownie pink. Anyways, guys, I am so happy we got to do this. This is fun. I might come on here more often when I just do my makeup. Um, the other thing I was gonna say, try to eat good food and try to have like tea and try to just get good sleep. Like really use this time, guys, because I feel like we all get into that hole of like, I'm not doing enough. Trust me, the minute that like this goes away and we can all go back to our regular lives, it's gonna be hell. So like, I feel like really just take this time and you know, do a few things throughout the day. I have a habit tracker that I love. You guys can just go on, um, I just Google search like habit tracker template printable and found it. Um, but please, please, please stay inside. Yes, like you guys, this is not a joke. This is like, I know that Everybody's like, oh, this isn't really gonna affect us. We're young, it's not gonna kill us. It is so dangerous. And for my dad who is sitting at home right now and his health is not the best, like guys, people's family members will be affected. I just got a phone call. Oh my God, my bad, I'll call her back. Um, but anyways, I'm doing, doing these videos. I will post them up very soon, probably tomorrow or the next day. I love you guys. Thank you for all of your support. I love you too, this is so fun. Um, and then just let me know anything else that you guys want to see. And I'll just do all the tutorials for you, but then relax, cause I'm gonna take my own advice. So, okay, bye guys. Love you, Marissa. Making sure there's nothing else that you guys said that I need to talk about. Oh my God, a dog got bit by a snake. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I would die. My brows are good, thank you. Meditation, get the Calm app or Headspace and come and join us on Instagram Live, Hoffman Process, um, 9 a.m. Tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, they're gonna do a gratitude and um, appreciation meditation, which is really fun for you guys. Oh, I love that you sang tomorrow. 
Um, oh, Tiger King, don't get me started. We watched two episodes last night, and I was like, babe, we cannot um, binge on this because we've got a month together. Oh, fucking month. Sorry. Um, guys, also, my movie and TV list is up on my Instagram page. Okay. 